Hi, welcome to uh, GBFV News. I'm here today with Paul Leonard of Upper Dublin Township. Um, Paul, just wondering why, you, why do you continue to partner with GVF? Rob, it's funny that you asked that question. No, it, it's a pleasure to partner. We see uh, the TMA movement in a national context as one that, that has been a great success, and you guys being experts at it, as our best mechanism to deal with PennDOT, with uh, the uh, SEPTA, all the other partners. Uh, the staff levels at Upper Dublin really don't us allow to uh, develop the expertise or the personal relationships and networking that you guys are so good at. Uh, I know that seems overly complimentary, mm -hmm. but it's really true. We do not have uh, anywhere near as strong a voice with uh, our partners, and, and all those agencies are our partners, uh, as we would like or should, and the TMA is the way we get that done. Great. Well, now that 309 is winding down, what do you, where do you foresee the biggest transportation challenges in the township? It's in the office park. Uh, the Fort Washington office park uh, has about 15,000 employees in it today. And it's an important element of our tax base, both for the school district of Upper Dublin and the township. Uh, we need to take a look at 54-year-old uh, roads uh, that were built by a developer back in the day without under drains, with flooding problems, with the need for real reconstruction, and upgrade them. Uh, they were used for many, many years for industrial purposes. The Lehigh Valley Dairies was located there. Uh, they routinely brought in milk wagons, which were some of the heaviest uh, trucks on the roads. Uh, and uh, the roads are shot, so we have to do reconstruction. We want to do it in a smart way to recognize that it is now an office park, not an industrial park, and we'll be challenged to solve the flooding problems, improve the wayfinding, which is very important because we have so many more people working in, in different uh, buildings, as well as uh, to uh, uh, get the, the road, not the roadways, but get mm -hmm. the whole zoning behind it up and running so that we can be a good, strong, small regional employment center. And, and thinking about the office park, one of the questions we frequently get asked is, you have the slip ramp west, um, is there ever, you think, a possibility of anything east? Oh, absolutely. Um, in 1996, uh, the Turnpike identified some 96 electronic slip ramps throughout their system. Upper Dublin's, the one in Dresher, which is known as the Fort Washington mm -hmm. ramp, is westbound on, westbound off, and that's been a great success. Uh, we have identified two locations, one off of Lime Kiln Pike, State Route uh, okay. uh, 152, the other off of Camp Hill Road where we could do eastbound off, eastbound on. Uh, where we're at with that, and again the TMA can help us with this, is that the Turnpike Authority does not like to have conflict with uh, neighborhoods or local communities. They really want to be welcomed when they do these types of improvements because mm -hmm. they're expensive. Our experience here, and I think this is important for your other members, is that the Turnpike's traffic engineering and their counts associated with that slip ramp that we have, mm -hmm. and that's just electronic, it's just uh, class one vehicles, regular cars. Their uh, engineering was so conservative, and we tested it about 18 months and two years afterward, that they gave us very good uh, detail on what the impacts would be on local roads. Uh, in fact, the impacts, the negative impacts, were far less than they planned for or anticipated. Here's the paradox with that slip ramp and uh, when you get people onto that uh, urban expressway which is what the turnpike is and get them where they're going it actually reduces the volume and cut through traffic on your neighborhood mm -hmm. roads radical concept if you get people where they want to go they stop squirreling through your neighborhoods and causing problems and, and, and backups in areas where they're trying to uh, avoid congestion yeah it really is um you were very innovative in, in getting that one done. There hasn't been too many completed in the state, but some of the projects proposed uh, now are, are all electronic, and you know, I think Upper Dublin should be commended for having an open mind and working with the Turnpike to build the existing slip ramp on Virginia Drive. Thank you. It wasn't me. Uh, it was uh, the Board of Commissioners, uh, the community. The secret on this one, and it, it's not a big secret, is that there were really no residential conflicts. In some of the other communities that have looked at these things, they've seen residential conflicts and said, oh, we don't want to uh, harm any of the neighbors, and I understand that. Uh, but you're harming neighbors by uh, having congestion and cut through traffic and uh, smaller roads handling traffic. Uh, again, uh, if you look at it from the perspective of getting people where they want to go, it does reduce uh, impact on your local streets. The slip ramp has been a huge success for us. A lot of our workers in our office park are New Jersey residents. Mm -hmm. So they love it coming over and uh, getting off and getting to work on time. 
Yeah, we've gotten a lot of great feedback for it. And also that's why some of the companies have relocated into that park due to the ease, ease of access onto the turnpike. So yeah, that'd be another lesson that Upper Dome could pass on to your membership. When we do business recruiting and, and we look at people relocating to our area, they read out the tolls. You know, it is a non-issue. In mm -hmm. fact, many businesses, they don't worry about the tolls for their, their that they pay or for what their employees pay because they're so happy to have a roadway that's in, in good order, you know, clear of snow and ice, ready to work. The tolls are not a negative factor. It, the, it, the, it, it's far outweighed by the positive factor that the Turnpike's a great road to, 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 to run on. Yeah, I agree. Well, thank you for taking some time uh, today, and uh, that's all for today. Thanks. We'll see you on YouTube, Rob. Yeah.